Eric Mwade. In this Rethink video, we are going to be taking a look at the NASDAQ weekly chart because it's very clear to anybody who's been investing for a while. There's so many confusing and conflicting factors in a marketplace and sometimes it's almost impossible to know which way the market is going. Now, the, knowing where the market is going is important just because most stocks tend to move in the direction of the market. So let's say if you buy any good stock when the market is at a very major high, more than likely you're going to see what was seemingly a good stock also drift lower with the market. So I believe knowing where the market is going is imperative to your success as a trader. Now using this chart, I want to show you how we can take all these confusing signals in a marketplace and try and simplify them. And here we're going to be taking a look at the weekly RSI for the NASDAQ. This is a four year weekly chart and I just want to show you that on this line, this red line here that I'm just going to leave this red line has been very instrumental in telling you when the market is due for a pullback, especially as far as the NASDAQ is concerned. In fact, if you go back to once we moved below this red line. So what I'm talking about here is use this red line. Every time the market goes below the red line, it becomes a sell signal and I'll show you how we got that line. But this line has been on my chart for a couple of years now. And so you can see here once we moved below that red line or back below the red line, there was, there was a high there in the market and we had almost a five week pullback. And then you see here we come and hit that same line there, which was a high there. Now this was a major high because the market did go on to drift for the next couple of months for a significant pullback as far as the Nasdaq is concerned. I'm sure the Dow and the S&P did the same thing. If you come back here, you see that there's uniform activity above the red line and back below it. So that makes that a major high because you moved back below that red line. And you can see after that, we subsequently had this multi-week pullback. Same scenario here, very simple. Uniform activity above the line and back below it. That's uniformity. That makes that a major high there. And of course, that would have been warning you that a pullback was coming. Again, you come back to even all these little blips here. There was a, a situation where it hit the line there, which was here. The market did not go down, but it actually was sideways for a couple of weeks. Finally, when it moved back above the line here, you can use that as a buy signal because it's not failing. It's moving above the line. So there was a breakout there. Okay. Now notice similar type action, but this time in the opposite direction here, we have uniform activity below the line, the red line and back above it. So that is a buy signal just because it's now giving you the opposite action, uniform activity below the line. So it's going below the line coming. Let me change that color here. So it's going below the red line and moving back above it in a V type formation. So that makes this a buy signal. You can see similar type action here. Instead of failing here, it actually formed a small V and another bigger V like that. So that was a buy signal somewhere here. And for the purpose of this video, I was trying to show you sell points in the market. You'll see that eventually we came and broke below that, back below the red line. And so that made that a sell point and the market did go on to drift lower. So you can use it as a buy signal and as a sell signal. So in other words, if the line is like that, every time you have uniform action like that, that's a buy signal because it's moving back above the line or even a V-type formation or even a double, something like that. At the same time, if you have the opposite type of action, which is what is observed on this chart where the market seems to always hit that line, move back below it, uniform activity like that, or even trading above the line and eventually breaking down, then all these points here become sell signals whenever you see that. So it's very simple. If you add this reasoning to your trading, it can help you decide whether you want to go long or short the market in some critical points. Now let's go back and because this weekly chart is between 2010 and 2014, 
I want to show you now on a closer view on a chart here between 09 and 2011 and so we take the same line now we are going backwards this line was somewhere here just straight backwards like that extend the red line from the previous chart it should look like that and you can see that where we get the line the line came from this break here there was a break point here beginning of 2010 once the market broke below that level there there was a break of a trend and so that was a high there the market did pull back and you can see what happened is we eventually moved back below went above it and back below the blue line here so that was a sell signal which was this point here before this major pullback so the line has been very good in telling us when to stay long when to stay short you can see here in this period the market was above that line so you can see here in this period the market was above the blue line which made this period a bullish time in the market right here right there so the market was bullish it's only when the market moved back below the blue line here which is here that you had a significant pullback on a weekly chart and again you come and hit that level there precisely on the line and that makes that a major high and you need to be out of technology stocks or the market and wait for a pullback because once you hit that level there uniform activity on the line that made that a major high now if you go back even farther this is 09 go back again to 07 09 time frame you can see that if we extend the same chart or the same line and this is how I know that this line is legit because it makes sense even on hindsight if I extend the line and go back it still makes sense because you can see that once we moved above the line somewhere here the market had a breakout and it went higher and you can see here in this major high in late 07 with a double top there on the line was the actual major high in the market before this major crash period here between or mainly in 08 so that line was legit when you go backwards and you can see there was another short term high here which was this period here and there was another short term high here which was this period here so we've taken all the complexity of the market drawn one simple line on the Nasdaq weekly chart and it has given us major turning points in the market in terms of pullback so what I'm saying here is despite all the confusing factors all the you know guessing games it just seems to me that sometimes we can make things simple by finding lines on the RSI that make sense and lines that are consistent especially when you test them with the backdrop of what happened if you extend the line going back years in advance or years before you are applying the same line in the current market situation so you can back test your lines by going backwards and see whether they made sense just the same way we did here by going back to that 07 08 09 period Eric Moore the good luck peace and blessing I am out for now but I shall be back Woo!